Hey guys, welcome back. So it's the end of the month, which means monthly obsessions. Yay! Woo! <laughs> so to start off with, the season 11 premiere of Supernatural started this month, and it was awesome! Yay! It was so good. If you haven't caught up yet, you should, because then you can't, I can't explain stuff to you. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it was really good. It was a little confusing, the first one, but it's slowly starting to make sense, so yay. <laughs> Next for TV, I started watching Blood and Oil, and oh my god, it is so good. Like, I'm really impressed with it, and if you haven't, if you haven't tuned into it yet, you should, because it is so good. <laughs> I can't even explain it. But it's about, um, well, oil, oiling, but, um, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just really good. You have to watch it. Also, since it's October, they are doing a lot of Halloween stuff, which means Halloween movies, and I was addicted to them this month, of course. Not like the super scary ones, but, you know, kind of the fa more family ones. But yeah, like Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus, uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer, Corpse Bride, Adam's Family, Sleepy Hollow, like those movies. I really like those. So I was a little obsessed with uh, Halloween movies this month. Movie-wise this month, I was obsessed with Maze Runner. It's so good. It's got Dylan O'Brien in it. If you haven't seen the movie, I won't give it away because it's kind of hard. Uh, to not give away stuff, um, but basically these kids are kind of sent up and they have like have amnesia, they can't remember, you know, anything, and there's this maze, and uh, there are these weird creatures that can eat them and or poison them. Um, I don't know. It's just it's so good. You have to watch it. Um, I won't spoil anything, but it's really good. Um, and then, I guess I was in a bit of a Dylan O'Brien kick this month because the other movie I was obsessed with was called The First Time, uh, which also has him in it. And it's just really funny and uh, smart, and uh, it's about these two high school kids um, who meet at this party, and I mean, the dialogue in it is just so good. Um, I don't know, you have to watch it. It's also really good. I recommend both of them, so yay! Another thing I was obsessed with this month, just because I was so thankful for it, was this new UV lens that I have on my camera. Um, because my old one, at the conference I was shooting, uh, cracked, like right down the middle. And it had been like on there for 10 years. So it was a little welded on, and we couldn't get it off for the life of me. And finally one of the... Um, hotel staff managed to get it off, so special thanks to Sammy for that. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. But then of course I realized light was getting in when it needed to have kind of this UV protection, so I got one, another one on Amazon for like four dollars, and that was super exciting, so yay! <laughs> I didn't have to buy a new lens because I dropped my camera, by the way, and that was a terrifying, terrifying moment, uh, but luckily it survived. <laughs> Another thing I was obsessed with this month was the beach. Um, I got to go to Florida and California uh, this month, so I got to see both oceans and beaches, and I just, I love Colorado, but honestly, if I could just live on a beach, I would be happy <laughs> with that. Like, I don't know, it's just really calm. And it's good for people kind of with a little bit of an anxiety, like I have. Just kind of the waves kind of soothe you. And it's nice to, like, walk on the beach and have the sand squidge between your toes. And it's good. I like it. And I got a lot of really cool photos, um, which I'll start posting. Uh, my Instagram and stuff later. Um, 
But yeah, I just really liked getting to go to the beach this month. It was a lot of fun. Also this month, the new Pentatonix album was released, and it is amazing. If you haven't heard it yet, you should go buy it, because it's so worth it. Um, and they just kill every single song perfectly, and just love it. <laughs> so if you're in need of good tunes, I recommend getting the new PTX album. Another thing I was obsessed with this month, uh, we had to move my grandma into an assisted living facility, um, and she gave me these cups uh, that were my grandpa's, and there's nothing like super exciting about them, but it's just the fact that, you know, I remember sitting and drinking out of these with him, and we'd stay up late and chat. And it's just like really good memories, and so I get to keep these. Although, word to the wise, do not take these on your carry-on uh, at the airport because apparently TSA thinks they're a bomb. I don't know why. Um, but my luggage had to go through the scanner like eight times before they're like, do you have like glasses in there or something? I'm like, yeah. Like, oh, okay. with them. I don't know, but I was just obsessed with these. And they're really good memories and I'm super happy that I get to keep them. So yeah. Also this month I was a little bit obsessed with these three new lipsticks I got. The first one's by Maybelline and it's Divine Wine and it's six nine, number 695. Um, and it's actually the one I'm wearing right now. And it's really cool. It's got kind of this it's really good for, you know, autumn and stuff like that. It's got that kind of darker uh, tone to it. It's also a matte finish, which is really nice. Uh, the next one I got is also by Maybelline, and they have the same covering, so that's really confusing to me. But this one's also a matte, and it is uh, Vibrant Violet, number 681. Uh, it's really pretty. It's that color. I don't know. If, well, it's not as purple as it's looking on my thing. Um, it's kind of more this color. Um, but it's just really pretty. Kind of that color. And it's also matte, and it's really pretty. So, there's two by Maybelline. And then the next one was by CoverGirl. And it's 325 Spellbound, like that. And it's just kind of this pretty um, pinkish, not really a Barbie pink, but it kind of has that quality to it, which is nice. Um, so if you want any kinds of pops of color, I recommend these three. They're really cute. Clothing-wise, I got this super cute little kind of sweatshirt hoodie thing, although it's really light. But it's so pretty. I love it and I love the color. Obviously it's very neon, which I'm still very obsessed with. It's super cute. I think everything clothing wise I got at Kohl's. I also got this super cute dress and it's black and blue stripes, which I love stripes. Um, and it's long sleeve so it's good for, you know, the autumn and stuff like that. And you can wear it with leggings or if it's nice and warm out you can still wear it not be like overheating. It's cute. I like it. And I also got at Kohl's, <laughs> shocker, this is my haul, this cute hat. I love it. It's so cute. It looks better when I have my hair down, but, but it's super cute and I like it. Oh, it's stuck to my hair. <laughs> but yeah, it's really fun and it keeps the sun out of your eyes. It's more of a kind of springy hat, but it also works for autumn, which I really like. I actually paired these two together, and they looked super cute with my black boots, so a little fun tip for ya. <laughs> and then finally, my top 10 songs of the month, and they are Beautiful Now, featuring John Bellion, uh, the Scout remix, I believe, by Zed. Laid On Me, featuring Ed Sheeran, by Rudimental. We Won't, by James Young and Phoebe Ryan. 
Silly Boy by The Blue Van, X and O's by Ellie King, Under My Skin by Keto and Rija Lee, Uma Thurman by Fall Out Boy, it's just fun to dance to, <laughs> Roots by Imagine Dragons, Same Old Love by Selena Gomez, that was my jam this month, <laughs> and Love Myself by Haley Steinfeld, which was also my jam this month. Yeah. And that's everything for this month. Yay! So thanks so much for watching you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below and please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!